Now that's what I call flexing. Nathan Cox, thanks for joining us around the home. Okay, today we're gonna to talk about the two main leaf blowers from Ego. The older, smaller 530 CFM, and then the larger, newer 650 CFM. Also, you'll see I have chapters, not only in the timeline, but in the description as well. Okay, so you can skip forward, jump back, review, whatever you wanna do. Let's start with the 530. Okay, first of all, some of you are like, what is the 530 CF? Stands for cubic feet per minute, okay? It's how much volume of air. It's not just pressure, it's not about a PSI, but how much volume of air is coming out of this thing. And that's a ton, okay? I've been using this thing for years. You've seen it in my older videos. Uh, this is what you've seen in them, okay? So many, uh, so many videos I've done with this one, and I've used this thing for a construction site, in my yard, to blow up my truck, uh, to play with the kids, I mean, just about everything, all right? Okay, and I should say, before I forget, that Ego did originally send me this unit as, as a demo unit many years ago, um, but that doesn't mean that they sponsored this, it's not, there's nothing scripted here, I'm just making the video and telling you guys what I think. I always give honest reviews, whether I have to buy it with my own money or not. Um, and the other one I did buy with my own money, because I haven't had any contact with Ego since the COVID started, okay? So all my new stuff is out of my own pocket. Let's just go over the standard features for the 530, shall we? Okay, the trigger right here, it's just an on and off. There's a small delay there. Um, and actually, I didn't think it was really that much, but the 530s, are, I'm sorry, the 650s are a bit more responsive. So when you use both of them together, it's like, oh, wait a second. Okay, that kind of sucks a little bit, but I mean, minor, minor things, these are minor nitpicks. Now, there is a throttle speed right here in front you can just set. So if you want like real delicate stuff, like you're in a mulch, you know, in a garden or a flower garden or something like that, you don't want to blow it all crazy. And then slowly speed it up. And then, to get the full 530, there's a turbo button on top. So you hold the regular button. And then hit and hold the turbo, okay? It's really that simple. You do gotta hold the turbo. Some people, I've let, so I try to play with this, they like, think it's like an on off, like you click it, and then they're like, boom, boom, boom. It's like, no, just hold it, okay? Now, it will eat the battery like nobody's business. I'll be straight up with that. There's no, I'm no hiding that. Uh, if you have a solid, this comes with a two and a half amp hour battery. That's what normally comes with it. I mean, I think you can buy this as a tool only, uh, but whenever you can, get it with a battery. You, you're gonna be better off getting extra batteries. With the turbo button down, you're getting like 10 minutes of runtime, okay? Um, right at that, nine, 10 minutes. And a lot of people are gonna be like, that's not enough for me, I can't do that, that sucks. Well, that's why I really hate saying that fact. Because, first of all, you don't have to use a turbo button. The regular on, you know, and turn it up, gives you good power. That gives you basically the same power as most gas blowers. You know, most gas blowers are, are, are firing around 350 cubic feet per minute. And that regular, the regular trigger is gonna give you close to that anyway, it's okay? So the turbo, of course, you wanna use it, is so powerful that I can do my, my garage, driveway, front yard, porch, along the street, sidewalk, go around the backyard. I got a patio and a deck out there, okay? I can do all that and come to my, my neighbor's yard and do his driveway too before the battery dies. Now, if that's not enough for the average homeowner, I really don't know what is. I guess the 650. So let's introduce the 650. Now the 650 is very similar to the 530 in a lot of aspects, but it's just updated. It's just really like the big brother or the new model, however you want to put it. You know, it's got a sleeker, cooler looking uh, little pad here to stand on. It has a built-in little slot here, you can put a bolt on the wall and just hang it up like that. So hanging this is easier. It comes with two removable tips. Okay, so it's got this fat one here. Oops, yep, there's a little clip right there. Or you can have this more concentrated round one. Okay, and just, oh, well, you gotta line it up first. Okay, locks in. Now both the 650 and the 530 have removable. Oops. Sorry, <laughs> have removable main chutes anyways, okay? So if you need to get real close to something, or sometimes I do that so I can stick this in the back seat of my truck, you know, so it fits better, you just take it off, you know, like that. All right, you put it back on, you're just gonna line it back up, and there is a single tab on this as well that locks it, so as long as you got it lined up, it snaps right back in place. Now this one here, the buttons are different, okay? The turbo button on top works the same way as the 530, okay? 
but this one right here is a variable speed trigger. So, okay, so you see? So you got variable speed in the main trigger, and then if you want the turbo, that's crazy, okay? Now, what you saw me probably accidentally clicking, there's actually, some people have referred this to as a cruise control, so you can, without holding any buttons, you can just turn it on, and very easily, set your speed. And uh, so sometimes you can, just, you can just set the speed and just hold the handle without holding any buttons and just blow away. And yes, that is a non-turbo setting, but you know, you're gonna get your best battery life that way. And if you want the turbo, just, just click on the button at that point. But what's also cool, and it might be sound kind of crazy, but sometimes when I'm outside working and it's just really, really hot, I, I just, I get the wheelbarrow and set this on the wheelbarrow and then click this on, you know, just to a, uh, a lower setting, just to get a breeze. And you know, it makes such a difference. I just get all my batteries out there and, and it honestly lasts. Um, now this one comes with the 5.0 amp hour battery. Okay, so that's another difference there. It's one of the things that makes this more expensive. It has, the battery is twice as big. But on, on that lower setting, I think this, the 5.0 battery will last like, I don't know, 45, 50 minutes. So it can really work out there for a long time and set yourself up a little fan station. It's kind of cool. Okay, so I think I explored the differences between the two blowers pretty good there. So the next thing is another question that I get is which one would I buy? Which one should I recommend for you to buy? And that's kind of a, I think it's easy and hard at the same time. So the 530 is a good staple. It's a great leaf blower. I've, it's one of my favorite tools out of the whole line. Okay, other than the 650 now, I have to say that actually is my new favorite, but this has been my favorite for the whole time. Okay, the two and a half amp hour battery honestly gets enough juice to get the average person's yard done on one charge. It really does. Okay, the smaller battery makes this lighter, okay, because half the weight of the whole blower is in the battery, or just about, okay. Um, and you can get this for a really good price now. I think a lot of times you can get this on sale right now, like at Lowe's, uh, for like $150, okay. Now I'll have Amazon links in the description down below as well. Um, and we are Amazon affiliates, so if you use those, it helps support the channel. So please click away. Now the 650 has a couple of nice updated features and it's a little bit more powerful. Do I notice a difference? A little bit, but not a ton, not a ton. I do like the newer features, but the reason that I really went out and got this, not only just so I could make the videos to show you all, but I was really wanting another five amp hour battery. Okay, I, so my batteries are getting older because they're four years old. And I, I'm, I got one of my five O's that have failed basically. Um, it's, I, I got it like on the little, uh, the little inverter running my light right now. Actually, I have that power in it, but if I were to put it on a tool, it doesn't go very far at all. It just doesn't have the juice anymore. So for $50 more than buying the battery by itself, the 5.0, which sells for $250, at $300, I just bought myself a whole nother blower. Okay, so if you already have the 530 and you're like, do I want to upgrade? Well, my question is, is could you use extra battery? And if you could, heck yeah, just upgrade because I use both my blowers when I blow my yard now. That's right, you gotta flex to your neighbors a little bit. I got them out there with a little bitty toy, you know, like, like weed eater brand, like gas leaf blower, like putting out like 200 CFM. And I got two of those things, and I'm just like And they're like, ah! Okay, not really, but kind of, kind of really. Anyways, let's just wrap this up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video a little bit. I hope this actually lets you guys see the differences between the two. Um, you know, it's really up down to you, but either way, you're going to have a good leaf blower. You're not going to go wrong either way. You're not. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell for notifications. We're constantly putting out new content. Check out our website. Hundreds more videos organized really, really well. And there's another video for you guys to enjoy. You have a good one.